as I continue my tour of Caucasian culture, here go five things I hope the Caucasians never stop doing. Five. Number one, don't stop giving unsolicited advice. Unsolicited. Nobody on this earth gives advice like a Caucasian male. Now, a white man gonna tell you everything you need to know about things that you don't even wanna know. For example, about seven, eight years ago, a white dude told me about Bitcoin. Josh, buy some Bitcoin. Nah, Greg, I ain't buying no Bitcoin. Now, if I woulda listened to Greg about four, five years ago, I'd be worth a bunch of Bitcoin money that I obviously, clearly, understandably, quite possibly cannot spend yet because it really don't exist. But I would be a millionaire when it comes to Bitcoin. That's number one. Number two, please do not stop being able to sit through tension the way y'all sit through tension. Now, me being a black man, I just can't let nothing go. I can't let nothing go down. If you yell at me, I'm probably going to yell back. If you cuss at me, I'm probably going to SpongeBob talk back to you. If you cut me off, I'm going to wait my turn up, cut you off. Then we get to that red light, I'm going to be staring at you just like this. But white people, y'all can sit through some tension, like... A tree in rain. If you think I'm lying, get on the elevator with a white couple that just got in an argument. I swear, you can cut the tension with three plastic butter knives. They be on back of the elevator whispering behind you in arguments you ain't never heard. Diane, Diane, we're gonna get a divorce as soon as we get off this elevator, Diane. <laughs> I swear. Number four, please. I swear. <laughs> The way y'all sit through tension, it should be like an Olympic sport or something. Y'all are wearing gold every year. I promise. Number three, nobody got patience like a white person getting a wrong phone call at 4 a.m. Nobody. If you wake me up too early, I'm cussing out your mama, your kids, your granny, the bill collector, the person that's going to be at the funeral home when your granny pass away. But let you call Tom at 4 a.m. Hey, yeah, um, I'm looking for Jerry. <laughs> nah, it's no Jerry here. Nah, Jerry gave me this number. Nah, buddy, I'm pretty sure ain't no Jerry here, buddy. I don't call Tom by five times in a row because I feel like he got Jerry in a trunk somewhere. Nah, Jerry's not in a trunk. I mean, you don't have to threaten me, buddy, but listen, I'm here. If you need Jerry, give me a call back. I'm, I'm here for you. It's only 3.45 a.m. I got to get up to work in seven minutes, but it's okay because I was up for two hours already. Number four, do not stop being curious. Curiosity killed the cat. Y'all got like living 12 lives. Don't stop. I highly doubt Antoine or Miguel or Jean Baptiste looked into the sky and said, I wonder what it feel like to stand on the moon. I highly doubt Christopher Jenkins looked at the ocean and said, I want to swim to the bottom of it. And once I reach the bottom, I want to knock on the door at the bottom and see if I can go further down. The curiosity of my Caucasian brothers is the reason we be discovering tectonic plates crashing, aliens might be alive in the sky, the ozone layer is tearing up and stuff, because curiosity. Y'all curious as hell. My neighbor, for reasons I ain't gonna even assume, but if he don't see me for a day or two, he coming and knocking, making sure I'm still breathing and everything is okay. Please keep checking on me, because if one day my heart just <gasps> give out, I need you to walk in my door, kick it down with your police thing that you probably got from a store that you don't even need, and come resuscitate me. Please keep being curious. Yes. Please. And number five, please don't stop getting offended for me. Listen, I thought I get offended when I walk into a restaurant and they try to sit me in the back by the bathroom sometimes. Or a cab pass me by. Or somebody say something to me that I felt like it had a racial undertone. I thought I got them. I want to give personal shots out to Kevin Kirby, Mark King, Jimmy, we call him Ginger, some of my white friends, because listen, you ain't just gonna come at me wrong. Y'all get way more offended than I get. I seen one of my old black homeboys who I grew up with, and he said, Josh, boy, look like he don't got bigger, boy. My homeboy was like, nah, he don't got what? You watch, you don't say that word to him. Nah, um, Kevin, he just, he said I was bigger, bro. He ain't said a word that we shall not ever see, say, bro. I'm, he, he's safe, I promise. I took one of my homeboys to my mama's house over the weekend because we had a barbecue. My mama told me, shut my mouth and go sit down. Hey, you don't talk to him like that. Nah, bro, that's my mama. You ain't finna, you can't talk to my mama like that. My mama can talk to me like that for the rest of her life. And after life, she could say whatever she want to say to me, dog. You don't check my mama. I don't need you to get that offended for me, homie. In this day and age, maybe it's just me, but nobody get offended for me like them people over there. They don't be playing that. These are five things I hope y'all never stop doing. Now, some of that other stuff, can't speak on all that other stuff that's going on. But these are the five things that I feel I hope y'all keep doing. Five. And part, oh, I want to give the world my all. My mind, soul, and my spirit. Police killing my brothers. That's six murders, no witness. And only one survivor and the bullet missed them by inches. 
He could've got hit in the heart with a 22 Ricochet, hold it to kidney We was raised a little different Pray on it